Hey, what up guys? Mike here. Thanks for tuning in to another video vlog. So the question I want to answer is how do you go about pricing out your freelance projects? I just recently got this question and I get this question a lot. A lot of designers deal with this. Somebody asks you to do a website for them. You say yes. You don't want to price it too high because you don't want to price yourself out of working with them. And you don't want to price it too low. You're confused. How do you price out projects? Is there a standard? Is there a template? The question is no, there's not a template, there's no standard. Everybody's different, everybody's pricing structure is different, everybody's lifestyle is different, okay? How I go about doing these things because I've recently um, had this situation is I typically by default, I think of around 1000 to $1,500 for a weekend project, okay? And basically that means if I can do a project in and around my family time, I can coach my son's little league team, I can go out to dinner with my family on Saturday night and then I can work on this like late Saturday and then on Sunday I can maybe watch a football game and still work on it and maybe watch Game of Thrones and work on this after that and finish it and make around a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars on a weekend that's kind of like my default thinking right so I kind of start with that in mind but how I approach every project is somebody asked me to do a project and I feel I can do this you know I'll ask them how much do they want to spend on it okay so I have my mindset on what I want them to say and typically they'll say you know they'll have something in mind if they say around a thousand bucks you know I'll negotiate it with them I'll say you know what that sounds about right I can do it okay so you just feel it out and you just kind of like make you know you just go with it and nine times out of ten here's the reality you're gonna price yourself too low okay this is typical you're gonna price it too low. You're gonna take on the project. What I do in this situation, you know, have integrity, have character, fulfill your end of the bargain, and then adjust your pricing structure with the next project, okay? So if you take on a project, let's say it was a thousand bucks, and it ended up taking you longer than you thought. You thought it was gonna take you six hours, seven hours, eight hours, but it's taking you now double that. And it's a nightmare project, just fulfill your end of the deal, and now you know next time to bump up your price a little bit, okay? And your timeline on when you can get it done. So that's the route that I would take, okay? So I always think for like a one-page website, you know, a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars, something that you can do over the weekend. Three three-page website, you know, fifteen to two thousand dollars. Five-page website, around two thousand to twenty-five hundred dollars, you know, for something like that that's the the range in which I work in but the basic principle is everything is negotiable offer them a chance to give you a price and then work it out with them take the project knowing that it might it might be too low it might be too high but based on the end of that project and how you fulfilled that project and how you worked on that project and the timeline it took for you to get it done you'll know if this is something that you would do again next time all right hopefully this was helpful thanks for watching and we'll talk soon guys peace